Could've both good. Oi, Chief! <laughs> He's like, hey, y'all got it. Good luck with that. Hey, what's going on? Sit with the Intel, and I'm here with the talented Achara Kirk. What's going on, little lady? Hi, I'm doing very well. How are you today, Sintel? Hey, excellent, because you know why? We're about to get our extraordinary woo on, and it always gets the day going on the right foot. Do you know what else can get the day going on the right foot? Hitting that subscription, and of course, getting an idea of these bonus perks that you get regarding extraordinary attorney woo. Achara, please tell the people what they get. All right, if you guys uh, become a member on uh, patreon.com slash Jabby You guys can watch the entire episode along with us. No cuts, no interruptions. You do need to have your own Netflix subscription though, so you can open up the show in an adjacent window to our reaction. Press play when we tell you to and boom, we're watching it together in real time. See, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And just in case you didn't get all that, don't worry, we got you covered. There'll be a link in the description. So with that being said, let's get started. <laughs> 저희 동방원 이사업을 대행받아서 시행할 뿐이고요. I feel like somebody didn't read the fine print. Yeah. 결정된 노선을 주민들한테 고지할 의무는 있지만요. 주민 설명회를 통해서 노선 변경을 할 수는 없습니다. 전문가들이 다 고민해서 결정한 거예요. <laughs> what about the consideration of the people living there? Right. 소독동 도박이 수십 바구니 내쳤고 온 마을을 파헤치지 않았습니까? Yeah. <laughs> he was like, I know there's another one. Because you've done it once, you do it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that guy got his back though. I know. I'm afraid that this guy's gonna have a heart attack though. Yeah. I'm like, every time he gets mad, I'm like, whoa, 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 calm down. But also righteously angry. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, have you ever heard of the people who are in the world? That's messed up. Right? <laughs> 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 This is a very um, um, consistent thing here in the States when they do big developments in poor communities. Yeah. 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 Where? In Europe? Where? <laughs> 지하화를 한다는 건 건축 개념이 들어가요. 하. 단순하긴 해도 공간이니까요. 아니 아니 그렇지 않아요. 어. 냉정하게 생각해. Yeah, everyone's gonna have a different idea. Yeah. 신도시가 될 가능성이 거의 없는 거죠. 음. Roadblock after roadblock. It's very roadblock. complicated. Right? 이장님 내 땅을 밟지 않고서는 기영씨를 uh. 지나갈 수가 없다니까요. Ah, so he has a financial attachment to this as well. 여기서 차로 한 시간인 거 합니다. 그래요. 거들 하시더라도 소득동 가서 하십시다. 예? 아니요. 저 저희가 다음 일정이 있어서 oh. 그걸 좀 나, no, like, no, you going to see this right now. Yeah. 저기. It's like appealing to his humanity. Let's go. 여기서부터 우리 동네 소득동입니다. So this is a suburb of Seoul, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Salong Tong. Okay. Ah. It's a very stately tree. Yeah. 
You see the flags, right? I bet the flags about to run through that tree. Uh -huh. can't, can't destroy that. Yeah. Mm. That's sad. Also, the music is making me teary. I'm like, music, stop. Stop that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unhand my emotions, music. Is he going to hold her hand? Oh. Whoa, oh, that was like a hard. fall. Yeah. Oh. Good point. Yeah. Now, when I was a kid in high school, oh. if you gave a lady your jacket, that was like your lady. I mean, it was like the only reason why we wore like Letterman jackets, so you could give it to a girl. To give, to give it someone. <laughs> yes. Aww. She's like, okay, thanks, bye. Mm -hmm. Off I go. That's that was, oh my gosh, that was so cute though. Mm -hmm. Right by the majestic tree. With the that beautiful is a gorgeous sunset. tree. It is. Yeah. Big. Kim Jong Un도 살고, Son Heung-min도 살고, Teresa Poon 회장도 살고, Yoon Ji Park도 사는 보수동 못 되는 주제에. Way to sell it, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> and a great shot. Nice shot. And look how, like, even yeah. the orange flags are just, like, it just seems unnatural to the skate, right? To the landscape. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Good. That is a beautiful office. I know I've said it before, but goodness gracious. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Who? Oh, Whoa. the paperwork. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, y'all got it. Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck, juniors. I'm gonna DTFO right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Sucks to be you. 주민대책위원회가 경희도로 보낸 민원서를 들어왔고요. 경희도가 답변한 처리 서면들이에요. Ah, well, it's not that much yeah. considering everything else that they've just read. <laughs> Straight up. She's like, you don't do that. <laughs> I mean, it's not like she doesn't know. Why would she take this case? Like, she's a CEO. Oh. Stay focused, y'all. Stay focused. It's like you're going in thinking it's a pickup game and then Jordan shows up. Or Kobe shows yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does she know? Like, no, I mean, she doesn't know. No. But, but you know, maybe it's that maternal connection. I like her style. Very impressive looking. Right. 
서울시와의 접점에서 급 커브를 만들게 되는 건 말할 것도 없고요. Stop, Stop enjoying it. it. <웃음> 군사 안보 대학 교수를 지나가야 합니다. 음. 대학에서 동의하지 않으니 결국 이렇게 되고. 와우. Oh, wow. Goodness. <웃음> 카툰 is that 우리 뜻을 어찌 그리 매도합니까? 다른 동네는 보상금이라도 제대로 받으니 협조를 했겠죠. 우리 소득도하고는 상황이 다릅니다. 아. 아. 그럼 원고들은 보상금을 더 받으려고 음. 아, 어. 소송을 해서라도 이 공사를 막겠다. 그게 바로 지역 이기주의 I've never heard the term regional chauvinism before. Dang. 지금 이 결정을 취소하게 되면 수백억 원의 손해가 나는 것은 자명한 일입니다. 이상입니다. Yo, her confidence is like on point. Yeah. Yeah, she's definitely the 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 king. She's the king for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> 오, oh, she admires her. I mean, I'm impressed too. Yeah. That's not even my mama. 쯤이 <웃음> 변호사라고 아십니까? 얼마 전까지 법무법인 태산의 대표 변호사였다가 자진 사퇴했습니다. 태산 창립자의 딸이고 강천구로 회장과 결혼했으며 아들이 하나. They keep bringing the best son a lot. 지금 하고 있는 사건의 상대 변호사입니다. Oh my gosh, look, his whole world is like tilting. Yeah. Mm. Well, damn. She's looking like, you can't get rid of me. Nope. God, I want to know the backstory. I want to know the history. So like, what bad. happened there? Yeah. So bad, I want to know. Look, they're tearing up the garden. Oh, oh. no. 제때 공사 못해서 우리 돈못 받으면 뭐 아이씨들이 책임질 거예요? 네? 뭔 소리야 이거야? 아, 뭔 소리 공사하는 소리지 아이씨 기사님 올려 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 환경에 영향을 미치는 계획을 수립할 때 통목로의 경우 도로 설계에 대한 계획을 수립한 건 2017년인데 전략 환경 영향 평가는 2019년에야 했습니다. 아. 음. 우리도 발표 자료에 공을 들여야 되지 않을까요? 이 태산에서 했던 것처럼 3D. Yeah, they have to make the judges feel yeah. like they felt. 경해도가 대형 로펌 앞세워서 삐까 번쩍한 자료들로 판사들을 홀리려고 할수록 우리는 소독동 주민들의 진정성을 앞세워서. Yes, I agree. Yeah, be different. 우리도 처음엔 소송을 맞지 않으려 했지만 소독동에 직접 가보고 난뒤 수임을 결정했으니까요. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good plan. 현장 검증할 명분이 좀 없긴 한데 일단 생각해 봅시다. 잘 찾았어요. So the on-site verification is does that bring the judges out there? Is that what that? Yeah, they does? have to they have to be there to okay. check it out. 지금 영우가 하는 사건 상대 변호사가 태수미인 거 알고 있어? 어. 그래? 서류에서 탈락시킨 신입 변호사 하나 다시 붙이겠다고 우리 영우 한 바다에 취직시킨 거그 태수미 때문이야. Some sort of tactic? Right. 태수미랑 선배 사이의 소문 사실인가 봐. 응. Oh, I, I okay. feel like something big got revealed, but I don't know what. 너한 바다 일등 만들고 싶잖아. 태산이 이겨야 하는데 태수미가 전개 진출하면 큰 일이지. 지금도 못 얘기는데 장관 되면 더못 얘기니까 그래서 영우 취직시킨 거잖아. Oh, so it's more like a spite thing, huh? Yeah. 로펌이며 개인 사무실이며 닥치는 대로 지원해 봤지만 면접조차 볼 기회가 없었어. 그런 딸을 보면서 아무것도 못해 주는데 마음은 
내딸 이용할 생각으로 데려간 나쁜 후배랑 결탁을 해서라도 나 영화한테 기회 줄래. Damn. Yo, that actor is killing it. Yeah. That dude is killing it. Yeah. 어, 아빠, 여기 뭐 아는 사람이 있어서 잠깐 왔어. 아니, 방금 대표님 방에서 나오셨는데 여기 뭐 아는 사람이 있어서 왔다. 대표님 아신다 소리잖아요. 응? 아이 뭐 아는 거 없어요? He's too smart for his own good sometimes. 음. 아, 우영우 변호사 낙하산 맞네. 낙하산이요? 아, 나 진짜. 아, 나 어쩐지 이상하더라니. 혹시 백이 있었구나. That's not fair. But that's how the I world mean, works. Kind of. That's yeah, how the world but, works, though. But she's also super smart and very talented. But you know, he it's a competition for him still. Yeah. I get, I get it. it. I, I get it, though. You know, I'd be, I'd be a little, you know, scratching my yeah. head, too. Yeah. I'm going to say that. But in the case of the law, the basic law of the law of the law of the law of the 전략 환경 영향 평가는 2019년에서야 했으므로 시기상 절차에 하자가 있습니다. He's like, well shit. Yeah. 도로 계획에 비해서 전략 환경 영향 평가가 다소 늦게 이루어진 것은 사실입니다. 하지만 분명히 환경에 영향을 미치는 계획을 수립하기 이전에 실시했습니다. 위법하지 않습니다. Dang, she's good. Yeah, I mean, oh. that's where you get it from. You get it from your mama. Oh. Yes. <laughs> A porpoise epiphany. <laughs> what do we got? A uh, dolphin. All right, a dolphin. Okay. I'll take a dolphin. <laughs> All right, what is it? 대리인의 주장이 맞다면 2019년 10월 전에는 이미 설계가 완료돼 변경이 불가하다는 문구가 있습니다. 아 그래요? 정확히 어디에 그런 문구가 있습니까? 뭐 제출된 증거가 워낙 많아가지고. Shit, shit. Give her a minute. Give her a minute. Just give her a second. That is so cool the way they turn everything around. Ah. They're <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's a prodigy. <laughs> mm, oh, that knowing look. Oh, that knowing look. Oh, right, for the W. She's like, Let's get these wins. Yes. Mm. <laughs> mm. Now, do you think she's looking at her in awe or is like, maybe like, okay, maybe I might have to step this up a little bit. I think both. Mm. Mm. Uh-oh. How cool is that to be impressed by somebody who's probably your mama? <laughs> yeah. Hey, 백으로 들어온 낙하산인 게 웃깁니까? 다 같이 분노하고 긴장해야 될일 아닌가? 왜 분노를 하고 긴장을 해요? 그거 다 같이. 부정 취업이니까. 무슨 소리 하는 거예요? Is he gonna try and like? 하나 증거 있어요? Make a case. He may. I wouldn't put it past him. Nah, he's ambitious, so he's gonna do whatever it takes. 경찰에 신고할 건가? 아님 감사팀이라도 찾아가서 불 거예요? 그런 식으로 따지면요 대표님이 대표님 된건 과연 실력으로만 된 건가요? 아버지가 한 바다 창립자라서 대표 자리를 세습한 건 아니고? 음. Yeah. 대표님부터 문제가 있는 회사에 다니면 이 정도의 부정은 눈 감아야 된다 뭐 그런 거예요? I mean, they're both offering very good arguments. 음. Mm -hmm. 우영우는 우리를 매번 이기는데 정작 우리는 우영우를 공격하면 안 돼. 왜? 자팽이니까. 우리는 우배한테 늘 배려하고 돕고 저 차이 나면 빈자리 하나까지 다 양보해야 된다. He has a point though. 우영우가 약자라는 거. It's a competition. It's like it is, but it comes down to how people view the world differently. Like this is a perfect example of yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. You know. I'm not saying he's right. Well, he is but he, right, but it's just he the makes more, a point. Yeah, he makes a good point. Yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. 저 이준호 씨 
제가 이준호 씨를 한번 만져봐도 되겠습니까? I love it. Like expression when she's asking strange questions. <웃음> 제가 이준호 씨를 좋아하는지 아닌지 확인하고 싶습니다. Uh, right? How do you answer that? Uh, yeah. Just, just say okay. Just go for it. Just hold hands. Just do something. 이준호 씨를 만질 때제 심장이 얼마나 빨리 뛰는지 분당 심박수를 재보려고 합니다. 절 만지지 않으면 심장이 빨리 뛰지 않는 건가요? Oh God! All right. <웃음> oh, yes. You take the half a step back. <웃음> 대표 아빠 대학 후배야. 대학 다닐 땐꽤 친했는데 음. 졸업하고 뭐 서로 바빠서 연락이 없어서 아무튼 선영이가 아빠를 찾아왔어서 영어 한바다에 다니게 해주겠다고. 영어도 이제 알아야 할것 같아서. At least he was honest yeah. with her. Yeah. 그럼 제가 대표님 백으로 들어온 낙하산이 맞는 겁니까? 부정 취업이든 뭐든 아빠도 영우도 그동안 취직 안 돼서 많이 힘들었었잖아. 영우도 부모 대분 말 거야. 자식의 좌절을 보는 게 얼마나 고통스러운지. They have a very honest relationship. Yeah. 선영이가 영우를 취직시킨 데에는 사실 다른 이유가 있어. Oh my god, is he gonna tell her? 아버지가 매번 이렇게 제 삶에 끼어들어서 좌절까지도 대신 막아주는 거 하지 마세요. I get it. I mean, he's trying to protect her because he still sees her as a child. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's gonna be a dad, and dad's gonna do what a dad's gonna do. Forever. Yes, it's just what it is. What yeah. is this? Oh, who he's not about guy? to dig up dirt. You know who it is. Oh God. No. Is he going way. to a chat board? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's about to plant some seeds of dissent. <sighs> Don't do it this way, man. This is wrong going about it this way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Attorney Choi was right. He should have just gone to the CEO directly first. Yeah. But then I guess if he was then going to do this, all fingers would point to him. But I feel like everybody is going to know it's him anyway, because who else would have put two and two together like that? Yeah. Oh, he did put it out there. 좋아하는 게 맞는 것 같습니다. 저는요. 설마 도망치는 겁니까? 무슨 할말 있는 거예요? 저를 알아보지 못하시겠습니까? Oh, call her oh. out. Do you Shit. not recognize me? Wait, but does she mean do you not recognize me because I'm your daughter or do you not recognize me from the bathroom? That's oh, it. no, good point. No, there, that is a right. very good point. Right, right. They I, could be tricking us. Yeah, yeah. And I, right? I feel for that hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good point. Wow. Oh. Yeah, this episode, man, there's, there's a lot going on. Like, at this point, for me, the more interesting thing in this episode was less so the case that was happening and I think it's because there's like a lot of technical jargon and everything but it's right. more just all of the character and relationship stuff that's going on in the background. There, there is a weird comparison contrast too regarding how uh, Young Woo is possibly like the road that's separating this town, this town that's already had like harmony in its own in its own space, and there's this thing that's going to be driving a wedge in between this in between the town. And I feel that maybe Young Woo could be that in in terms of the storytelling, in terms of the storytelling, that this that's interesting. This uh, attorney's group has been doing things a, a certain kind of way for so long, and then here comes Young, Young Woo, who has disrupted a lot of things. And now we have like some of the junior attorneys kind of like squaring off with with. With, with one another per se. This, now, this is me wearing my tinfoil hat. This is a big reach. Okay. I just like trying to find through lines within within the story. So, because the writing has been very brilliant, and nothing is done without without cause to to the greater to the greater storyline. So, I'm thinking yeah. that that's what what 
what what it could be. I'd be interesting to know what you all think in the chat. That's something that hadn't crossed my mind, but that's definitely an interesting theory. What you were talking about, about the young attorneys, I was particularly taken by that one scene between attorney Choi and attorney Kwan when they were uh, talking about the potential nepotism that took place with yes. uh, young Wu's employment. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it is w what I said. It's like they're both right in their own ways, but I think it boils down to how you view the world. Because I think I side more strongly with attorney Choi, mm -hmm. which is like, of course, if, if I knew someone like Wu Young Wu, even though she's brilliant and smarter than me like i can see that she needs my help mm -hmm. uh, you know in in her own way like she has a disability and so why wouldn't i try and help and protect her even if that meant that you know i might not be number one she's gonna be number one anyway mm. like let me be her friend and, and and let me help her while on the other side if you're like attorney kwan mm -hmm. and your worldview is i must win at all costs right like everything mm. he's saying like you said makes sense but i think it, it is just that kind of difference in in how we view the world and so i i definitely saw myself more in attorney Choi because I was just like, no, I, I believe everything that she's saying and right. like, I just don't feel for him at all, you know? Let me play devil's advocate. I, I'm leaning more towards towards attorney Choi as well, but, but Kwan makes a very, attorney Kwan makes some very good points. And that he is, does. okay, let's, let's, let's take the autism away. And let's just, yeah. if that's if that's not an issue or if that's not brought to the table, everything he said, will we feel the same way? You know, I have to ask yourself, if you heard that this young junior attorney has, has been brought in and it's because they have connections with the CEO, autism aside, are you cool with that? And if, yeah. if, you, if you were to ask me that without that, without the emotional connection that, I, that I've that i gained uh, for, for young Wu because we've just been a part of the process and she's endearing to us. If I take all that away and, and it's just person A, person B has this association with CEO I kind of got to agree with Quan if I take all well, that away yeah and that's the thing it's like her autism is right there in the middle of it I go yeah but the whole reason why she was even given a chance was because of that connection right right but ultimately she was picked setting aside the whole Han wants to get back at Taesumi Right. Okay, right. Setting that aside, if we didn't have that, then it would be a case of she was disregarded because of her disability. Okay. But because of this connection that the CEO had with her father, mm -hmm. it gave the CEO pause. She looked at her resume and was like, wait, hold on. How did we pass on someone with this much talent mm -hmm. only because she has this disability, which perhaps we could find a way to to work with and they have right so right it's a weird thing yeah it is kind of nepotism but it's like it's not that kind of nasty nepotism where someone gets a job or gets a high position in a company just because you know their dad owns the company but they're extremely incompetent she's right. not incompetent right though. right and Choi, and Choi brought that up attorney Choi brought that up she was like the ceo is here because her father yeah you know ran the company and so and that's nepotism right there in your face and then the, the truth of the matter is nepotism is just real it just exists yeah you know people it's people, there people hire who they're most comfortable with and most people are comfortable with family. It's just a harsh reality of the world that, that we live in. But if you are in competition and there is only one spot available, you are going to use whatever means that you can. I don't agree with how how Quan is doing this this back alley, you know, under underbelly chat room kind of thing that he's going yeah. to do to expose it. That's just shady. At least have the courage to to, to present it yourself and don't exactly. hide behind the veil of of being anonymous. Don't 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 do it like that. You lost respect for me when you went about it like that. But if you yeah, were to just be absolutely. like, I'm gonna to talk to somebody about it like like attorney Choi said i couldn't be upset with that you know i'd be like yeah. okay he brought it up i get it and let's not forget that young Wu knows that it's it's bad i mean we in the scene with her storming off because she thought in one way that she may have really earned it and she did in yeah. a lot of ways she has earned it it 
takes away from that, right? You know, it's yeah. like you, you've helped me, Dad, in, in a way that now I can't really enjoy this victory, per se, you know? And she's like, yeah. I'm, I'm, man, I'm not man enough, but I'm an adult enough to handle that, that disappointment. Don't take that away from me. I felt that. Yeah, no, definitely. And I think that's like an important lesson as we go through life and also for parents, right? I think it's because our parents love us so much that they want to try and mitigate the hurt in the world because parents know they've been through life. Uh, there's a lot of harsh shit out there. Yes. But you can't protect your children forever. And, and you're actually doing your children a disservice if you don't allow them to fall down and pick themselves back up. So I felt that as well. I'll there's like, one more oh. thing that I kind of want to bring up and then we'll, we'll, we'll close this out. So there is a larger battle that's about to unfold. And that is this, this three-way relationship between two women of power and a lonely shop owner. <laughs> it's like he's stuck between these two powerful women. One maybe yeah. doing some kind of vengeance thing. We don't know. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling about that? Like it hasn't really, we haven't really had a big spotlight shined on it until like really like now, now even more so we've got some, some stuff that got revealed. I love the storytelling in that it's just kind of giving it to us in little pieces. You know, it, it's making us really curious about what's going on, what's the history there without telling us too much at all. Because I don't even know if at any point he dated the CEO Han. Right. at all you know or if they were just close friends because mm. it seemed like they had a pretty close relationship something, something. definitely happened with <laughs> Taesumi mm -hmm. they had a baby you know <laughs> so like what happened there I almost want to have like a flashback episode of them in college and like what happened right you know how did she not hear Wu Young Wu's name and not immediately kind of have a moment you know or maybe it's I, I know that in Korea there are a lot of very common surnames. So mm -hmm. if you were like, hi, my name is Kim Soyeon or whatever, okay. then people might not think like there are so many Kims, right. you know what I mean? Right. But I don't know how many Woos there are or if that's such a, a common hmm. last name that she wouldn't just immediately make the connection of like, oh my God, that's the guy that I had a child with all those years ago, unless she was like blackout drunk. Like, right. <laughs> I yeah. don't know why she wouldn't just be like, well, shit, okay, this is very awkward. Let me like, leave. Yeah, and then to just not even, maybe not even necessarily recognize her either is kind of odd too. It's like, how did that happen? We just, there's just a lot of backstory that we just have to kind of fight. Well, I can buy her not recognizing an adult because I imagine she's probably not seen this child that she had since birth. Okay. You know, like babies look significantly different than how they turn out to look as adults. Very true. So <laughs> unless it was like, oh my God, she looks exactly like me at her age. I understand her not kind of having more of a, a visual recognition of her daughter. Okay. But wow. Yeah. The plot thickens. It's, it's definitely... <laughs> thickening. Hey, and if you've been enjoying unraveling this amazing plot with us, please make sure you hit that subscription button. But if you want to get even deeper into the plot, and I'm talking about scene to scene, moment to moment with us, please make sure you check out the Patreon. Achara, please let them know exactly what this is, what I'm talking about with this. So you can uh, join us on patreon.com slash jabbykaway, and you can watch the entire episode along with us. You just need to have a Netflix subscription of your own in order to play the episode at the same time as we do, and you'll be in sync. We watch Watching it at the same time and don't worry about it if you didn't get all that there'll be a link in the description hey that's gonna wrap it up for this episode make sure you hit that thumbs up that's how the people know you're digging we'll be giving you and we will catch you for episode eight i believe yeah yes eight coming around the corner yeah. we're getting there <laughs> all right we'll see you then peace out